For eight years, this all-pro linebacker for the Miami Dolphins prowled the NFL's gridiron, looking for football or foe to devour. Now he's roaming backyards and tailgates, seeking the next great recipe to tackle his taste buds and yours. He is John Offerdahl, the Gridiron Griller. Take ball pro NFL football players. Add in award-winning executive chefs from South Florida's top restaurants. Invite guests to sample the fare and vote for a winner. Mix well with an exciting cornhole beanbag toss competition and you have the winning recipe for John Offerdahl's Gridiron Grill Off, a spectacular event where celebrity, competition, and charity collide. Grill Off Day has arrived. Backstage, players prepare to meet their fans. Executive chefs prep and cook. Live radio and the cheerleaders are ready. TV cameras are tested. Winning trophies are displayed. Let the grill off begin. Opening ceremonies included the national anthem and color guard. Guests mingled with celebrities, tasted great food and wine, and voted for their favorite. We're the team to beat right now, although all the other guys are saying it, but they don't really believe it. They don't believe it. No, we're good. They don't know what they're in. They have no idea what we're going to do to everybody. We are going to shock the world tonight. Coming into this, what was your game plan? Because, you know, this is a competition. And we've got Joe Rose, we got Duke, we got, they're talking a lot of trash. Well, I don't talk trash, I talk the facts. One of the judges came by, I thought she kind of gave us a good score. She uh, didn't want to divulge on how she felt about it, but I can just tell the way she was enjoying it that she would probably put us in the top, top rankings right now. Our creation here is called the Perfect Season Salmon after the 72 Dolphin Perfect Season. And we've had several judges through and they've given it the highest rating. So, you know, I don't want to count the uh, chickens too soon, but I'm pretty optimistic about it. A lot of trash talking going on tonight. Joe Rowan says he's got bacon. Well, listen, you know, when, when you never win anything, you know, like last year he lost, he didn't win the cook-off. Last year he didn't win the cornhole toss. And, you know, I was able to give him trash because I'm the defending champion of the cornhole toss. And Lewis Oliver, who is right next to me, you know, they have the champions right next to each other. So they have to talk trash, but it's still not going to matter because once we finish this over, either I'm going to win the cook-off or I'm going to win the cornhole toss. So he's not going to win again. What did he actually do? He did everything. We made the spice blend, we made the sauce, everything from scratch. We got all kinds of different flavors going on. We got guava, passion fruit, we got a homemade spice blend. I missed the event last year and I heard about it and I heard that this year is about twice the size as it was last year and it's a testament to John Offerdahl that he can round up the quality of guys that he has round up here this evening. I mean, whenever you can get Dan Marino to come out and some of the Hall of Famers, other Hall of Famers to come out, it's just a testament to John and then he's giving all the money to charity. You can't beat it. I mean, you got food, you have some spirits here tonight. Just an awesome evening and then the kids are going to benefit from it. So you're going to win tonight? Of course. Hands down. Hands down. There's no question. Everyone who came to the table is like it's out of us and some people with some scallops over there, but they, they have nothing on this bill. How do you feel competing with these guys? Well, you know, you want to go against the best and then uh, John offered all, I'm sure he brought in the best. So, uh, you know, we we're hoping to measure up well. Uh, we're confident in, uh, in our product. Chef Shannon has created a wonderful recipe and, and uh, out of our, um, our different selection of foods that we have to offer. And, and uh, we think it's come off pretty well, so we're hoping for the best. Matt Moore got lamb chops over there. I don't think they're too good. <laughs> Joe Rose, I don't know whether he got. Brzezinski, I don't know whether he have. Uh, uh, Dan Marina got sausage, but I can I can make that in the store. A lot of trash talking tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I mean, right now I think I'm in third place, and I'm trying to figure out how are we behind Mark Duper. Mark Duper has a bologna sandwich. Who's voting for a bologna sandwich? I mean, we cooking duck confit over here. I mean, we got, we got, we, it's amazing. Have you tasted this? This is like fine cuisine at its finest. 
And we got the best wine to go with it. Absolutely. That Murphy Good Pinot Noir. This is Hollywood Prime doing tailgate. Finally, guests competed in the Cornhole Classic, a beanbag toss tournament that ended with the top players and celebrities in a playoff competition. Join us next time celebrity, competition, and charity collide.